Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Bound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I am a journaler, journal maker and teacher of journaling courses. And in this video, I have a little sneak peek of the Reflections journal course that I run. Um, and this is a paid spread that I did for that course focused on the prompt of colour. Um, and this was a subscriber request to share some little sneak peeks at the kinds of videos and things that I teach in my journal courses. So I've shared some other videos like this one, a couple, I think from the anchor journal course. And so I thought I'd share one from the reflections journal course. And basically th this one I ran in November and December at the end of last year to reflect on the year to help me to document the major memories I wanted to capture from the year to process what happened that year to be able to say goodbye to it let go of it and be able to step into the new year with fresh enthusiasm and goals and energy and all of that kind of thing so this was a very helpful journal project for me to do um, and something that I might want to do every year so uh, yeah it was very very therapeutic very very helpful and I just love how, yeah, journaling is such a great thing for well-being, uh, mental health, and it's just enjoyable and really fun as well. <laughs> so I, I can't speak highly enough of journaling and um, creativity. Uh, I just think there's just so many benefits. And that's one of the reasons I have this channel is so I can share my love for it and how I just see yeah, so many benefits in, in my life and how I would love to help others discover those benefits as well. So yeah, that's why I um, run journal courses as well. Um, I always test them on me first or I do them for me first. I um, create the courses that I need for my own well-being um, and for my own inspiration uh, and my own creativity and for the things that I want to journal and document. And then because, I, yeah, I just love it so much, I want to share that with you guys in a course. <laughs> so basically, I've got a whole bunch of different things on my desk here um, that I've pulled out that represent the colours that I love. So I was looking at my colour palette from last year, and I've always been a blue girl. Well, actually, no, when I was a little girl, I originally liked pink, and then when I was about seven years old, I switched over to purple. And then when I was eight years old, blue became my favorite color. And it's been blue ever since then. And I'm one of those people who gets a lot of joy out of my favorite color. Like just seeing the color blue makes me happy. Like it does something to my soul. Um, I, I can't explain it with my head <laughs> too much. It's, it just gets me in the soul and gives me so much joy when I see a, a shade of blue that I love yeah, it hits me in a soul joyful level. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I love aqua. I love um, light blue in particular is my favorite blue, light blue rather than dark blue. And I started liking teal in my uni days. So I only discovered teal when I went to uni. So I would have been in my 20s, I'm guessing. Um, and ever since I discovered teal, I fell in love with teal. Um, but then my most recent favorite color is mint, which only happened last year. And so I kind of want to document all of this. Um, other colors or shades of blue. Keanu wants to say hello. There's my beautiful black cat. <laughs> um, the junk journal world actu actually introduced me to some other shades of blue. Um, cornflower blue, eggshell blue, forget-me-not blue. Um, before junk journaling, I didn't, yeah, junk journaling seems to introduce you to a whole world of things like eph ephemera, different types of ephemera, vintage items, um, and colors, like the names of different colors. So I started discovering all these different names of shades of blue and started to work out, oh, I quite enjoy cornflower blue and eggshell blue. And, uh, yeah, so this is sort of like a cornflower blue, maybe a French blue, which I also really enjoy. Um, sage, I quite enjoy sage too, going with like the teals, the mints and the sages. Um, 
And so I'm trying to just gather all of these colors and I've become my current color palette. Uh, so we've got the mint or the teal background paper there. We've got some magazine images, one from Daphne's diary, one from In Her Studio magazine. And I love the color of wood too, like painted wood um, with blue and teal and turquoise. This is a picture that I painted with watercolor. I don't think I've had room to fit it on the page, but that kind of captures the mint, the teal, the blue, the aquas that I love. Um, but yeah, I just went, went ahead and focused more on these colors that picked up in these pictures from magazines. These bottles or jars, aren't they just a stunning color? <laughs> like that makes me happy. Like this random little photo of these jars and that color just makes me super, super happy. I, I love it. <laughs> and I've also got some paint chips. Anytime I do a color page, I really enjoy using paint chips. Um, I, I love finding names, you know, Diamond Mist and Aqua Angel. Like, how pretty are those names? I want to, I've said this a few times before, but I would love to come up with my own color names because, yeah, I love colors. I've always loved colors. When I was a kid, I loved coloring in and drawing and I loved pencils and textures and I'd always do rainbows and pick out my favorite color from each color like each shade from each color I, I, oh, I don't love it look at this one sparkling mint isn't that beautiful the names names and color just pairing them together is this little bit of magic a little bit of magical heaven <laughs> in my world um so I really enjoy doing color pages in my journals so much so that in fact I believe possibly in every single one of my journal courses I do a color prompt because it makes me happy it inspires me and I will never get tired of documenting colors in my journals um, yeah so even in the next journal course that I'll be running which will be free on my channel the collage art journal course which I think I'm just gonna shorthand call it the inspiration journal course um, because that book became a book where I could just feel inspired and put down anything on the page that inspired me you know just random things and it became this placeholder the pages became a placeholder of just anything and everything that inspired me so I'm thinking the working title is the inspiration journal course and it, got, it will combine collage paint art magazines photos ephemera you know all all that fun stuff that we <laughs> that we love in this junk journal world. Uh, so yeah, back to this page. I cut out the words "the blue house" from a Daphne's diary page, um, and I thought that was fitting because I want the word "blue" somewhere on the page because it's my favorite color. And then I'm just trying to look for paint chips that represent the different colors I love. So I've got mint there, teal, aqua and blue which are the four main colors that I'm trying to capture on this page those are the four colors or shades that were my current color palette um for last year so I should say my yeah my color palette for last year my color palette for this year hmm I'll be interested to find out what it is it might just be the exact same but I love that yeah it started off with blue and aquas and then as I grew older teal became a favorite color and then just last year just when you think oh you know my favorite colors are set in stone it's like no mint mint became another favorite color which never was before but it did become one of my favorites and I do have a blue index card as well so I thought I could do some journaling with that and just talk about yeah my favorite colors for that year so yeah I'm now just going to stick everything on to the page um, now that I have cut everything out and arranged things the way that I like to suit my eye I really enjoyed cutting down those paint chips because usually I put the whole paint chip on a page um, but I didn't have enough room for all of them so for the first time I kind of cut them down and turned them into different shapes and sizes which I actually really enjoyed that was quite fun and then I love the fact that you can write on top of paint chips as well. So they make great journaling spaces where you can segment your page and do different journaling on the page with the paint chips. 
um, and I do get my paint chips for free from hardware stores so that's always fun anytime I go in the hardware I'm like yes I'll just top up a few extra little paint chips <laughs> really really fun I'm really um, excited to work on yeah my own paint chips I've been um, having a play creating some little swatch color swatches slash paint chips like inspired by the paint chips so um yeah I'm having a little play with that a little experiment so I will uh, be excited to share that with you later on when I have um, made some more swatches and different things <laughs> very very excited I've got lots of projects on the go um, I, I'm also putting this video up as a little uh, what's it called like to whet your appetite <laughs> while I'm taking a bit longer getting out the inspiration general course I thought it would uh, be out sooner but I forgot that I wanted to include some printables some free printables and maybe some extra proper kits um, for anyone who would like to purchase some proper kits uh, but there'll be lots of free printables to go with that course as always with all my courses you get printables included in the course and so I was like oh I want to do that for this course too um, and so I've revamped my buy me a coffee donation page or tip jar page because I found out there's a way to add printables to that um, website and it seems to be a bit more user friendly than Patreon. Um, Patreon it can be a bit hard to search for things you have to sign up for account all that jazz whereas I think on buy me a coffee you don't need an account um, I'm not too sure um, but I feel like the process of being able to donate over on buy me a coffee is way quicker and way easier than over on, on Patreon um, and so I can put up I've been putting up my freebies over there I think I've got four so far I've obviously got to put up way more but slowly just each day each night I'm trying to do a bit more, make a new kid, uh, put up another freebie and just plot away at this. <laughs> um, it's an ongoing project, um, lots of creative ideas, lots of inspiration floating around. So I'm just trying to, um, yeah, tackle each different creative project I've got. Um, but yeah, if you want to check that out, I'll leave the link below. As always, it's always in there to buy me a coffee and you can pick up those freebies straight away. Um, and I'd wake, I want, blah, 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 I'm getting too excited. I'd welcome your feedback too if you find it easier to use. Um, if you want to just claim those freebies, let me know if how it worked for you, if it downloaded well and you could print it okay, and if it was really user-friendly or not for you. I would definitely be interested to um, hear from you how that all works because obviously I um, set it up, but I don't know what it's like for you on the other end to experience that so hopefully it's really quick and easy and fun to access everything um, and if you follow it like you don't even need to donate or sign up I don't think if you just follow I think you do need an email it will I'll put up posts and photos from my life I want to kind of be more um, sort of like a blog I guess um, and have a way to share things like that just you know get to know me over there very cash <laughs> I'll put announcements there too um, I don't know I'm just having a play for now um, but yeah if you just follow I think you get automatic emails with any announcements any updates um, maybe I can work out a way to let you know by email when there's a freebie or I I don't know, I'm working that all out. If you have any suggestions of what you would like to see or anything, um, feel free to chuck that in the comments as well or email me. Um, yeah, just trying it out. Um, so feel free to check it out <laughs> and claim those freebies. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to, yeah, like I said, work on uh, all the freebies for the course and all the kits for the course and I'll slowly put those up as I go along. And when it's all ready, um, then I will put the course up the other thing I need to do I filmed all the videos there's about 30 videos for that course um and I need to do the voiceovers I haven't done a single voiceover yet and I kind of want to do as many voices I thought oh, again getting too excited uh, I want to do as many voiceovers as I can before I release the course just so that I have a feel for the course like I already know but um, you know, when you start talking, well, when I start talking, I go down different tangents, I start sharing about different things and different things come up. I'm like, oh, it turns out to be 
like, I don't know, the focus can change or the direction can change, the vision can grow or the vision can hone in. And yeah, so I just want to do as many voiceovers as I can before I release it as well. And yeah, just see where it goes. And I just really hope it's helpful. Like I said, journaling for me does wonders for my well-being and mental health. And I hope it can do the same for you. And I hope that this course can just be a source of inspiration and a source of joy, a source of peace and so excited to go on that journey together so i hope you enjoyed that page and i'll see you in the next video bye guys thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in april thank you so much for allowing me to do this for another month it really means the absolute world to me and i could not do this without you if you would like to become a patron in may i will leave the link below to my patreon down in the description box that's where you get access to more videos from me personal updates printables and if you're a Ruby patron or higher, you get every single digital kit from my Etsy with a new with a new kit each month. If you would like to support my channel through a one-off donation, you can do that through PayPal to my email address or through Buy Me a Coffee. And if you would like to be part of any of my journaling courses, I'm starting them again in May for the month of May. So feel free to email me to register. And I hope you have fun journaling your life because your stories matter.